The other day I had to convert full color artwork that I already had built in Illustrator to grayscale so that my client could run a black and white ad. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can convert existing artwork to grayscale without having to go into any other program to do it all in Adobe Illustrator. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. Quick tip. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. So this is a logo that I design for a shop that sells olive oil and vinegar and cooking accessories. And this is a note card that I designed with a front and a back that opens up to be blank that they can use for their gift sets. Looking closely at my colors, you can see I'm primarily just using this burgundy color and this rustic brown color for the identity. And the background is a full color image. In Illustrator, you can come to File, Document Color Mode to change the overall color modality of your file from CMYK to RGB, but there's no way to make it grayscale. And moreover, if I were to change this to RGB, you will see that the document now is in RGB, but you still may see the original colors as CMYK until they're converted over. So in Illustrator, you can select individual objects and of course change their color here at the top or after you have the element selected you can come to edit edit colors and then here you can choose to convert that object to grayscale now if you wanted to change your overall layout to be grayscale you would have to do one thing you'd have to select all you'd come to select all or command or control a See, my entire file is selected. I can come to Edit, Edit Colors, Convert to Grayscale. And voila, my entire file now is Grayscale. If this element had been a lighter color, such as tan, when I converted it to Grayscale, it would have converted it to an equivalent shade of gray. So here, if I do want it to be black, I might have to manually change it to be so. When converting elements such as photos to grayscale in Illustrator, I would stick to something that might not need to be fine-tuned or tweaked. So if you have a complex image, like a photo, that you want to convert to grayscale, I would do that in Photoshop. So if you went to File, Place, and you inserted a full color photo that you then wanted to convert to grayscale, you select it and you come to edit, edit colors, convert to grayscale, you may not be happy with the results. This would be a better job for Photoshop. That way you can control the levels of light to dark in your image. Photoshop is made for photo manipulation. But if your image has a background or time is an issue and you just need to quickly see what something would look like, you can do minor adjustments in Illustrator to grayscale. And you even can do minor color adjustments in Illustrator. Just know that in Photoshop you may have more control. But in terms of saving time, nothing beats being able to do it in Illustrator. So I hope you found this helpful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.